to explain you in a very simple example. Again, let's say we have two forms, form A and form B. So you uh, create a matrix in, 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 uh, in the page that you have. <clears throat> the decision is to whether to advertise or not, right? So form A, it can advertise or it cannot advertise. Advertise, do not advertise. Form B also, advertise, do not advertise, right? So now we have four columns here. I mean, four boxes we have. First box will give you form A is also advertising, form B is also advertising. Second box will give you form A is advertising, but form B is not advertising. Third box will give you form A is not advertising, form B is advertising. And fourth box will give you form A is also not advertising and form B is also not advertising, right? Now, now I'll define the values. So if form A advertises and form B also advertises, both of them are gaining 10 rupees, for example. If both of them don't advertise, right, they are gaining 15, 15 rupees each, correct? So 10, 10, 15, 15. But if firm A advertises and firm B doesn't advertise, firm A will get 20 rupees, for example, and firm B will get, let's say, 5 rupees, 20, 5. If firm A doesn't advertise, it will gain 5 rupees only. And if firm B advertises, it will gain 20 rupees only, right? So in, in both of these scenarios, you see, the maximum payoff will come in the last case when they both don't advertise. They, they are gaining 20 and 20. Right. So let us try to find the Nash equilibrium in this case. So now we have to consider each firm's perspective first. So firm A is there. So let's say we are seeing the whole scenario from firm A perspective, right? So you have made the matrix in the paper. So let us try to understand this from firm A perspective. Now let us see what the firm B is doing. If firm B advertises, so this is the first column of advertising. If firm B advertises, right? Now firm A has two options, whether to advertise or not to advertise. If firm A advertises, it will gain 10 rupees. If firm B doesn't advertise, you know, it will gain just 5 rupees. So what is a, a higher outcome in this case? 10, right? So firm A will choose to advertise, correct? Okay. Now let's say firm B doesn't advertise. If firm B doesn't advertise, now again, it has two options, advertise, not to advertise. If firm A advertises, it will gain 20 rupees, right? And if firm B uh, if firm A doesn't advertise and firm B is also not advertising, they'll gain 15 each. Again, what is the maximum payoff in this case? 20 rupees. So again, the firm A, A strategy is to advertise, correct? So you'll circle. Where, whichever dominant strategy you are getting, you circle that. So we have circled two. One is this, you know, uh, 10. Another is here, 20, right? Now let's see from the firm B perspective. From firm B perspective, uh, you know, what uh, if firm A advertises, you know, uh, uh, and you know, uh, we are seeing from the firm B perspective.